Let's start plowing through this. What is the deal with Sunken Temple? Sunken Temple might actually end up being the raid in Phase 3 of Season of Discovery. We have some data mined information to back this up. It is not just Ooh. a claim or not just speculation at this point. It's uh, based on kind of data mining and the small amount of evidence that we have. Okay. So, what is up guys? It's your boy Swalam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Today we're talking about a brand new upcoming raid in Phase 3, which is still probably about two months away, but it's still fun to speculate. And we have the first pieces of data mine info hinting at the brand new raid for this okay. we're going to be talking about an article that i don't see enough people talking about it is one okay. made by warcraft tavern i'm gonna move my webcam right here so warcraft tavern they have made an article about this it's um, talking about dungeons and dragons and data mining Some dungeons and dragons could be the next raid in season of discovery and Ooh. why do you ask well just, let's just take a look we noticed something interesting in the most recent classic era data mining the Temple of a Talhakar Dungeon, also known as a Sunken Temple, now has a three-day lockout in the data mining, going up from the regular dungeon lockout to a three-day lockout, which fits right oh, into, shit. for example, BFD and Nomer again, as we have it right now. B I hope it is Sunken Temple. Data mining, you know, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. I personally hope it is sunken temple scarlet monastery whatever like wh like whatever do you got are you guys in the mood to do scarlet monastery raid we have all just gotten done spending so fucking much time in scarlet monastery we've all we've all done sm 10 billion times we, we're, we're we're doing it now some of you might be in scarlet monastery this exact moment sunken temple would be a great raid it's big it's cavernous. It feels like a raid. It's grand. You can fit a lot of people in there. Dude, 20 men sunken temple would be awesome. Being on three day lookout timers. So changing the temple of Hatalakar or sunken temple to a three day lookout. Mm -hmm. It also has a lock ID consistent with being the next raid in the game. BFD, Black Fathom Deeps, has a lock ID of 21. Normrigan is 22. Ooh. And sunken temple is now 23. Oh, that's probably something. The stars are aligning. This is a strong <coughs> cue, a strong clue, that the instance is being made into the level up raid for phase 3 when we reach level 50. The dungeon's maximum player count has also been changed from 5 to 10, but it was also revealed yesterday okay. that future raids in Season of Discovery will be 20 player size. Sunken Temple is a large instance with lots of trash and boss encounters. Yep. It is also involved in a unique level 50 quest for every class, so it will be interesting That's to see true. how the developers decide to work these class quests into the raid and i have a theory on this dude the level 50 class quests could give you like insane gear and the quests are already there they could just buff the gear to make it really cool it could be scaling the class items up to being epic instead of just the blue and then making the them probably even better so that yep. would mean every class gets a guaranteed very good upgrade from doing sunken temple by doing their class quest which would be really fun to see how that works a class quest in a raid I would be very interested in that, and I hope they don't just that would be and really cool. the current quest we have, I hope they make some change. That's just me though. That's me being hopeful. Lore-wise, this raid is an interesting choice following the Blood Moon event in Strangleton Vale in Phase 2. Hakkar is in the sun- Dude, this conversation makes me think. Who would win in a fight? 10 pit bulls versus one fully grown silver bat gorilla. 10 pit bulls, one silverback gorilla, and the pit bulls are born and raised in Compton in the ghetto. In the Compton ghetto. So these these pit bulls, they are these are not these are these are these are gangbanger pit bulls, okay? So who would win? 10 gangbanger Compton pit bulls versus one silverback gorilla? <sighs> I don't know, man. Dude, dude, having 10 pit bulls rip at your flesh, that's pretty bad. Sundalari, uh, that would be really bad. Is the Sundalari blood god, <clears throat> and the Sunken Temple know. was believed to be the place where he would be brought back to Azeroth. It was actually Sulgurib, which we'll see at level 60. The dungeon is full of Sundalari trolls and their minions, as well as members of the Green Dragon Flight, who seek True. to stop them, and anyone who enters the instance, <clears throat> from succeeding in summoning Hakkar. So once again... It's the temple of Atalakar, the second <clears throat> temple. We're trying to summon the blood god inside here. Uh, well, summoning Hakkar in this case. So it would make a lot of sense lore-wise as well. Going from the blood event in the Shangotone Vale over to Sunken Temple in phase. 
I don't know if you guys know this. Who cares about the, the Vanilla WoW lore or story? I don't know if you care about this. The, the events that transpire in Sunken Temple as a result of the character player activity, like, like our player characters doing what we do in Sunken Temple directly results in the Zandalari Troll's ability to resurrect Hakkar the Blood God in Zul'Gurub. Do you guys know that? Like, like the story actually segues right from Sunken Temple into Zul'Gurub. So yep, yeah. oops, we did that. Just lore-wise, mm -hmm. it all adds up as well. <clears throat> now, with all of that said, we have the data mine stuff, like the three-day lookout. We have yep. the, the, the thing here as well, like the IDs. And we have the fact that the player count has been changed from 5 to 10. That being said, this has been changed to 20. So like, mm -hmm. Sunken Temple will be, or like the Phase 3 raid will be a 20-player raid. Blizzard have already said this. That might have been, like, they might have made it 10 man intentionally at the beginning, and then they're going to scale it up to level 10, or like to, to 20 yep. people instead they, of 10 man. They might have bumped this up to 10 before they decided to do 20, before they announced it was going to be 20, and they made that announcement like a week ago, four or five days ago, maybe. So maybe the in, the original intent, well, intent was to have it be a 10 player raid. I think but so. Because of all the discussion going on recently, they started to make, they started to think, <clears throat> maybe we should have a 20 player raid instead. So maybe the OG intent was to have 10 player raid. Dude, this is a curious idea. Sunken Temple is really big. What if Sunken Temple was not just one raid? What if Sunken Temple is two raids? What if you have like Sunken Temple upper and you have Sunken Temple lower and they break it up and each one has like five bosses? Maybe one of them is a 10 man and maybe one of them is a 20 man. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? It's all the way to level 60, and they are working on that right now. We just don't know. But all of these um, clues right here really adds up to Sunken Temple being the raid in Phase 3. Based on that, they have some clue. information about the raid as well, which I think is kind of cool to talk about. The entrance to the Sunken Temple is in the Swamp of Sorrows, which is True. a contested zone. You will have to climb down through the ruins in the middle of the lake, uh, the large lake in the east of the zone, and make your way through a <clears throat> maze of hallways to the instance portal. Horde yeah, sure. have a flight path nearby at Stoneard, but the Alliance will have to run through Deadwind Pass from Duskwood unless a portal is added. And like we had in, for example, BFD, I do think a portal would get added, so we'll have to wait and see. The lower level of the instance, the Pit of Refuse, is home to the first boss, Atelarian, who must be unlocked by completing a puzzle of swords. The long circular hallway leads to six balconies that overlook the central pit, and each balcony has a snake statue. These statues must be clicked in the correct order to spawn the boss. To access them, you must fight your way through plenty of trash. The upper level of the Sunken Temple is in a, another large circular hallway, leading to six more balconies, but these balconies house a set of undead troll mini-bosses, which <clears throat> must be killed to proceed deeper into the dungeon. Now, in the raid, these could be actual boss fights. I, I, I wouldn't think they would be, but they could be. That they could be. be. Or even just like giving you some sort of loot. Like for example, we had the Grime Encrusted Object from Normaragan. <coughs> what if these bosses right here gave you something like some, some, some good stuff as well? Just not have them be only for the class quest. Make them worth killing. Killing the mini bosses unlocks the Jamal on the... Yeah, I'm not really sure how you would make these like little mini statue bosses more engaging. Uh, maybe you make it so they all they all have to die within like a certain amount of time. Like all like all the statue like mini bosses have to die within thirty seconds of each other. So you have to kind of split the rate up. I don't know who knows. Prophet who can be reached by entering the pit of sacrifice in the middle of the instance. This area is full of large packs of green dragonkin, and you may remember in Jamal on the prophet as a boss with the ghost that randomly chases a player around the room, a source of much frustration in the, the old days of vanilla and classic. And also hardcore, dude. I've seen so many. Like, like, you're level 51 in the Hardcore Challenge, and you die to a Sunken Temple Ghost just one-shotting you. Ah, dude, it's funny every time. Classic. Wow. King, killing Jamalan will cause two green it's dragons to spawn back in the main room in the <clears throat> Pit of Sacrifice. These dragons are Weaver and Dreamsight, and their knockback abilities are virtually guaranteed to cause at least one of your hapless teammates to fall through the hole in the center of the room. It will happen sooner or later. Uh -huh. I really hope they have some sort of tribute to Goosey here if they do that, but hey, uh, we at least we have that clip, and we yeah we have the clip. And we also have the, the video by Hurricane from Gusu falling in the pit. Uh, killing the two dragons will then spawn two more of them, Hassus and Morphus, in a nearby hallway. All four of these bosses share the exact same abilities in the OG dungeon, so we'll see if Blizzard decides to change things up to make it more interesting or challenging. 
Defeating all of those dragons again will then bring you to the Shade of Ranicus, who is the last boss who will pull every green dragon in the dungeon if they had not been mm -hmm. cleared. In vanilla, this is a challenging fight in which the boss... This would be a super good raid. They should 100% make Sunken Temple raid. And it seems like they are. It seems like they probably are, based off some of the data mined information. I really hope this is what it is. Boss will put the party member with the highest threat to sleep for 15 seconds at a time, and that sounds like the perfect opportunity for a tank swap in a raid. <clears throat> okay. This boss drops an epic sword, the dragon's call, and we look forward to seeing what a raid version of this item may look like. So, one-handed sword. I think they could do some really interesting stuff here. Thunder Fury Light. Have it be like a Thunder Fury, but not actual Thunder Fury. It's a one-handed sword, Dragon's Call, could be interesting. Could be. The final boss is in the dungeon is the Avatar of Akar. Is that... You know what, I know I said maybe they could split the raid up into two different raids. No, don't do that. Keep it all together. I, I, I want a big, long, giant raid. These like 35 minute raids, dude, I think I think some raid group did a No Muragon speed run yesterday. Uh, Warcraft logs, classic. We are like three and a half weeks, three weeks, three and a half weeks into Season of Discovery phase two and people are already doing 21 minute speed runs. A 21 minute speed run happened, uh, what, yesterday? Yesterday, bro. Give give us a giant long raid. Give us a huge raid. Okay, I want I want like a fucking ninety minute raid. That's what I want. At the fuck a ninety minute twenty man raid. In the boss, because we always kill shade last. Who can only be summoned by a player who has completed the appropriate quests. The OG dungeon version of this fight is difficult, with the boss affecting uh, afflicting players with a number of debuffs that slows attack speed, movement, and casting oh, speed. Oh shit. Addis must be looted over the course of the fight in order to extinguish the four bracers around uh -huh. the room. The rewards include some powerful items for the level range, which are likely to be even more powerful in a new raid. We have these boots, a lot of stamina, but not that much um, strength or agility really. We have an epic chest that can drop as well. I would assume this would be reworked and give a bunch of spell power or even healing power. I think, actually this could be a healer chest, it has a bunch of spirit. Probably going to be a healer chest. We have the Featherkin Drape, Might of Hakar, Spire of Hakar, Warrior's Embrace, and Wind Scale Sarong. Now, for the fun part, the Sunken Temple in Season of Discovery. Assuming the Temple of Talakar is the next raid for Season of Discovery, we can probably expect another epic crafting questline, as well as another item to turn in for a world buff. Now what could be cool here is if the essence of Veronicus, which I think at the moment can be looted by everyone in the party, yep. becomes only one person can loot. And it the essence of Veronicus is part of an uncompleted quest chain. You guys might not know this. If you follow through with this essence of Veronicus, it, it sends you to like the wizard in the hut in Winterspring, and then he takes it. And the, and the dialogue suggests that something else is going to happen, but just nothing happens, right? Like, like, that, like that's it. That's all that it is. And so this could be a cool opportunity to finish the quest chain, to complete the quest chain, right? Because it just kind of leaves off on a weird cliffhanger. And it gives you an epic trinket. Because right now everyone can do this and you get the es chained essence of Veronicus, which uh -huh. is a trinket. It's really bad, but you can hand it in as well to get like another trinket for some a little bit of AOE splash. It's still a bad trinket, but it's a still a trinket as well. But mm -hmm. if they could give us an epic version of this, mm -hmm and only one person in the raid can loot that, and when they hand it in, and it pops a world buff, and they get an epic trinket. Uh, yeah, 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 that would be good. That would be the way to do it. Yeah, no doubt. Because so no far doubt. in the BFD, we had an epic trinket. In Normer, yep. we have epic ne epic necklace. I think it's time to go back to epic uh, trinket again. So chained essence of Ranicus could be huge. Could now, be the case. including all of the other things we have talked about, this raid or this dungeon does have some incredible Look loot that, that I can see being scaled up and tuned up to the perfect raid loot. We have this one, like a male head with internet and spirit, which is basically for um, Thank you, well, dude. holy paladins. We have another necklace, we have a wand, this one could give you more spell power. We have a shield, which gives you <clears> actually block, strength, agility, and a bunch of stats. Yo, can uh -huh. you go away, cat? Come on, bro. 
Then we have the two out here, cat. giving you a hit percentage, Get and out. it's a main hand with strength, and we have a dagger as well, and that is only from the shade. We also have the same loot from all of the dragons, as you can see, and they give you a one-handed sword, two-handed sword, a pole arm, and even this one right here, like a ring with random enchantments. And we have, um, once again, a bunch of good stuff. We have the waist, this one right here, with intellect and spirit, and I can see them reworking a lot of this loot. There is a lot of loot they could rework. I, th I think Sunken Temple is like a low-hanging fruit, but it's also such a good, delicious, juicy fruit. Make it even better in the Season of Discovery. Give they should do more this. Power, they should do more this. More hit percentage, more crit percentage, and more spell power, healing power, and so on. The thing is, <clears throat> there's so many bosses in this raid, or in the dungeon, that it does make a lot of sense to turn this into the next raid. Yeah, bro. Oh, okay, one, two... Atal Alarion. Okay, he's the guy you summon by clicking the statues. Spawn of Hakar. That's the whole, like, egg gauntlet. Bro, the whole, like, spawn of Hakar, egg gauntlet, killing the trash, and then fighting the boss at the end, lighting the burners. That would be a cool raid boss. Uh, Jamal on the Prophet. That would be cool. You have a big room. Mind controls. Ghosts are spawning. That's awesome. Um, Ogom the Wretched. I think Ogom is who you fight alongside Jamal. So he's, like... Part of the Jamal fight, I think. Dream Scythe, Weaver, Hazaz, Morphaz. These are dragons that fly around. I think you, you'd have to do something more interesting with those dragons. They are not really so interesting on their own. And then you have Shade of Aranicus. This would be a great... And then, and then Shade, you could go a million different ways with that. Um, this would be a great boss fight. This would be a great boss fight. Dude, I'm thinking Shade... I'm thinking... Okay, remember when you're fighting uh, Kelris... And you have to, you're teleported into like the Shadow Realm, you have to kill a couple adds, and then you click the portals to return from the Shadow Realm. Imagine fighting Shade of Aranicus, you're teleported mid fight, kind of similar dynamic, but instead of a Shadow Realm, you're inside the Emerald Dream. And you have to do some shit inside the dream, you're in there for like 30 seconds, do some shit in the dream, and then you click a portal and you come back out of the Emerald Dream. That would be cool. Plus, we once again <laughs> reverting back Wave to the Wave dude. We have the thing about Atala Car, Sunken Temple going on a three-day lockout it fits the raid id with the dungeon id of bfd and normary uh-huh everything is aligning bro but let me know in the comments down below what do you think what will be the next raid in phase three do you have any thoughts on this after reading the article do you think it's going to be sunken temple we want let sunken me know temple in the comments down below as always i really do appreciate you watching the video on a totally unrelated note if you are struggling to make gold or you want to make more gold in seasonal discovery i do have a gold making guide I I bet I bet it's going to be Sunken Temple. I really really think it's going to be Sunken Temple. I th and by the way, I think b beyond my personal speculation, I think that it would be it's just the right move. It makes a lot of sense. Awesome. So if you're looking for like a hyper condensed version of the leak, so there is some data mining here. Sunken Temple has been on like the data mine servers whatever the fuck, I don't know what it's called. Sunken Temple has been shifted to a 3-day lockout. Um, the, the raid ID is, um, next up in sequential order after BFD and Nomargon. So I guess the, the raid ID of BFD ends with a 21, the Nomargon ID ends with a 22 and Sunken Temple as of now on the, on the PT, on the secret data mine PTR, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fucking data miner, but I guess the Sunken Temple ID is 23. So, okay. 21, 22, 23. So it, it like, it's next stop in the order. And then also, um, Sunken Temple, uh, has been data mined to be a 10 man raid. But we've already heard from Blizzard that the next raid is going to be 20 man. So maybe it, it like maybe they just haven't update updated the this the the information that people are data mining currently, right? So I'm not sure. But I would I would bet I would bet 20 man Sunken Temple. I would bet that we have a 20 man Sunken Temple. If you guys want to take a look at that, there's a link to the video. And uh, that's that.